I am going to read the manual that not the whole thing, <laughs> just um, the opening little blurb, so that you get you get the idea, the context of which we we begin, in which we begin. <clears throat> So first, a little bit about Personal Nightmare. It was developed and published by Horrorsoft in 1989. Horrorsoft became Adventuresoft and was best known for Simon the Sorcerer. They're based in Birmingham, England. And this game was released for Amiga, Atari ST, and DOS. We're playing the DOS version, which is the EGA version. And the music is... There's not really music, and whatever sound there is in it is horrendous. So I will be turning off my, my desktop sound. Because I accidentally didn't last time we played a bit of this the other night. And it was horrendous. So we're not going to do that again. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. Um, also, they developed Elvira 1, Elvira 2, and Waxworks. <clears throat> okay, personal nightmare. The village of Tyneham Cross, nestled in the hills of Waldshire, holds many childhood memories for you. Brought up a vicar's son, life was very quiet in this sleepy little village. I should turn this music off. This is not giving us the right mood. <clears throat> in order to pursue a more interesting career opportunity, you left home many years ago and lost contact with your parents. Consequently, a letter from your mother came like a bolt from the blue. The letter troubled you. You didn't know why, but it seemed to be trying to tell you something. On the surface, it was just an ordinary letter from a mother trying to reestablish contact with her son, but underneath there seemed there seemed to be something wrong, very wrong. It was it was perhaps the reference to your father's strange behavior. According, according to your mother, your father, the local vicar, has started behaving very strangely and has developed a keen interest in the life story of James Hyatt, vicar at the Church of St. Anthony some 300 years earlier. Your memories of this particular character remain vague, but you do remember something about him being killed by his own parishioners, apparently in some bizarre ritual to rid the village of some devil or other. Of course, such events were fairly common in those times, for it was during that period in history that the great rich witch hunts were going on, and even something as simple as a failed crop usually resulted in some poor woman being burned at the stake or drowned in the village pond. Anyway, the tone of the letter seemed to beg you to come home, and you've made, you have made preparations to visit as soon as possible. A second letter received only the day before your visit alarms you even further. More a message than a letter, it came from your father advising that he'd made arrangements for you to stay at the local inn, the Dog and Duck, as he was having the house redecorated and didn't think the work would be completed in time for your visit. He had added that your mother's sister Alice had taken ill and was currently bedridden, and that your mother had gone to visit her in Camplethorpe, hoping to return in time for your visit. He also enclosed a brief brochure about the inn. You have taken the train and during the long journey have fallen asleep. So, that is what we get. <clears throat> yes, I scared you guys really uh, badly last time with this game, but we're not, we're not, I'm going to turn off the uh, desktop sound now. Um, because it was horrible. The desktop audio is coming all the way down. I'm going to go to show and tell. Halloween. Turn off the GIF. And we're going to launch this. Away we go. Okay, so this is the opening. This is presumably your father or, or maybe the vicar from way back in the day. And hopefully, I'm only the one hearing that, I hope. Let me know if you're also hearing that. Because I think, hopefully, I'm, all, I'm, I'm the only one. Did that, did that hear, did that damage anybody's hearing? Okay, good. No sound. Perfect. So that is the opening. It's pretty freaky. The, um, unfortunately, um, Elvira is not in this game. And unfortunately, you have to sit through this entire credit sequence every time you load the game. Yeah, eating with you didn't hear any from the game anyone anything from the game and that's really to your benefit. The sound is horrible. <laughs> Filmed on location. Interesting. Okay. Recorded in HFR. Was that like high frame rate or something? Okay. I do have the walkthrough here. We're gonna go by the walkthrough. And we're not we're not gonna deviate from this walkthrough whatsoever. Unless we get we unless you guys ask me, and then I will, and then we'll, then we'll restore the game. Or unless there's something I do want to show you. 
Yes, they did the unskippable cutscene before it was cool. Yeah, and I think Elvira looks great. I mean, they used a lot of um, a lot of different colors here to make to recreate Elvira. Just a Jeffy, that's a lot better than. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot. I gotta. Ch I forgot to change. Give me a second. I'm so sorry. Um, I gotta change this from streaming game art development to streaming. Let's play of personal nightmare. And hello, welcome, Brian. Eighties. Uh, let's play personal nightmare, and I can change the category to personal nightmare. So let me do that. Personal nightmare. Personal nightmare. Done. Okay. So that should change the title of the stream, hopefully, and also what this is categorized as. Okay. Um, moving on, moving back to the game. Hold on. Alt enter. There you go. I'm going to Java. This is Java. Okay. I've mentioned this before, but just to give everyone a brief overview, this game is really cool because it kind of combines text parser, point and click, and kind of like a scum bar on the right hand side. We'll be we'll be investigating all of this wonderfulness. Okay, I'm not going to restore a saved nightmare. And here we are. We can type look to see what is going on in in the bar. You can examine different things here and you see time just passes without me doing anything um <laughs> i can't even keep up we've already missed something um i've given you the key in case you need to get in after 11 30 when i lock up mr jones says your room is through the small door on your left and upstairs it's the last on the left have a good stay the village clock strikes five if you want to stop this madness you have to pause I'll pause to open DOS box, DOS box. Okay, hopefully you guys can see the game. And I'm going to just go by this up. You know what, first I'm going to just show you guys some, some cool stuff about how this game works, but then I'm going to restart the game and just play through humorlessly. Okay, we have an inventory here. You can click on these to see what they are. Suit is very stylish. Etc. Shoes, coat, suitcase. In your suitcase, you have your pajamas. And the um, Mr. Jones just gave us the key to our room. And if we exit this, if we click on this room thing, we can see the stuff in the room that are t that is takeable. But I don't think they let us take this. If you want to take it, you can click and drag it into your inventory. Mr. Jones makes you put it back, muttering about people who won't stop meddling. So we can't get it right now. There's also these. We can look, examine. That is the beer glass. Examine beer glass. An ordinary boring glass. We can ask these people about things. We can ask Mr. Jones about father. Not being a religious man, I've never... I never used to see him, although, however, he dropped in a few nights ago to see Michael Williams. Examine this guy. Jimmy Blandford. He looks drunk. So here we go. This is like virtual theater, like in Beneath the Still Sky. Someone else has walked in the door. We can see him. Examine Mr. Roberts. The village registrar. Talk to me. I don't think we can talk to Mr. Roberts, though. Yeah. Ask Mr. Roberts about Mr. Jones. I take little part in village life, save for recording the births, deaths, and marriages. Ask, Rich, what's his name? Richards? About, is his name Richards? Look at him get up. No, nothing special. Oh, he just put his coat. Examine heavy jacket. Mr. Roberts is eyeing you suspiciously. Ask Mr. Roberts about Mr. So you can just go through this stuff and talk to people. It's not really necessary. It's a really great uh, um, it's a really great interface and also for movement. I can type in N to move north. You can t tell by the compass rows here though whatever's in red is where you can move. I can move north or I can click on the compass to move in that direction or I can click on that area 
to move in that direction. Kind of. Oh, here comes another lady come in. So they just will come and go as they please. It's kind of amazing. But... We can open this door. I'm just going to start with the game. Open small door. Walk through small door. Um, go east. Oh, wait. Go up. Uh, east and then up into the, the, the landlord's room. I would see, I, w I do want to look at these places, but examine where we did some of the stuff horrible spotty ugly face stares back um take mirror taken leave open door so this is nice because sometimes you don't know the name of certain doors and you can just do them by clicking on the interface it's an interesting combination oh here's screech of tires and thought from outside yeah because I, I waited so long we're gonna have to rush outside and just go do that um, down. Oops. Okay, so this is something that's time-based. We have to go to this guy. Jim, Jimmy Blanford, take key and take film. Yeah. And someone last, uh, last week called it where it's that whole developing a roll of film puzzle, which actually happens in Maniac Mansion as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that puzzle, but not not today, and literally not today. And also with the walkthrough, we don't do we don't do the developing of the film today. This game takes place over four days. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can also if we look, examine, just examine, look, look, look. You see a broken number plate. It's kind of um, it's kind of a, a, a kind of a shame that this stuff. You can't really see it, on on the screen. Here's his wife. This is Susan. This is Jimmy Blanford's wife. Examine. Susan Blanford. Yeah, she's sad that her husband. <laughs> and this, I'm not even. I'm already deviating from the walkthrough. But this is a timed event, so I feel like I have to do this. I think this is his coat, right? Yeah. Yes, Pascal Leroux Medium. I've never played that. <laughs> Pascal Leroux, she looks like she's putting her knee... Susan's putting her knee on Jimmy's head. Terrible. Yeah, it's the, the graphics are good, but there's only so far they can they can go. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? So this game has limited inventory, which kind of sucks. We we gotta drop some stuff. And we gotta drop some stuff in our room. So let me just save it at start. And I'm gonna drop drop some stuff in my room. And hopefully Mr. Roberts will be gone and I can take stuff. Oh, never mind. So here so <laughs> we're gonna wait for, for Mr. Roberts to go go to the taxi and forget his coat. Cause then we're going to um get the key out of his pocket. Look in heavy jacket. Yoink. Great. And now we're going to go up to our room and dump some unnecessary stuff. And that's the thing with this type of a game. Is you don't know what's unnecessary and what's not. So you're going to have to guess. Look in. Okay. So our inventory, the walkthrough says... And I don't know if the game is paused or not during the inventory screen. It's kind of horrifying. Uh, put, drop your briefcase, open the door and go north, okay, dro oh, can just drop your briefcase and tie in the room? Okay. Drop briefcase. Did I put anything in the briefcase? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm just paranoid. Okay. Okay, it didn't. Okay. Drop briefcase, drop tie. Start to two. 
Oh, thank you, Blaholtson. <laughs> you were in the bathroom. Um, you can probably take... Um, you can probably take the... I'm assuming you can take the trumpet when they're not in that room. So this game time does pass. We just saw the clock strike six or seven. And when they're gone, you can probably take it, I'm assuming. The, oh, the warder was open right now. Blaholtson. Um, Pascal LaRue, what happens if you don't get the key? Does it come back and leave in your host? I assume so. And also, if you don't get the stuff off of Jimmy Blanford before his wife gets there, you're also hosed. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a personal nightmare. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do in this game seems really strange. And if you're kind of playing this game with a walkthrough under the, the kind of narrative angle of what the character would do if you first came to town. Okay, so yeah, you first come to town, you drop off your suitcase um, and your tie in your room. That kind of makes sense. You, you take a look at uh, the, the accident and loot the body, which in adventure game circles kind of makes sense. The next thing we do is we're going to we're gonna go outside and we're going to go straight to... Um, I know it seems soon and it's day one, but we're going to kill a vampire right now. So let's do that. That's why, we, that's why we got the mirror, is to kill a vampire. Yeah. So yeah, we're new in town. Let's get, let's get out of here. Okay. So I now I have to because I kind of deviated I have to go back to Okay, so here. Okay, examine Jimmy take shiny key key film and number plate. So we're here. Go north. East twice. This is kind of like a dance. East twice. North. West. Twice and then down. Phyllis clock has struck 7. Okay, open door. Go east five times and the coffin will start to open. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we gotta just wait. Hopefully our timing is not off and he's still here. Should I save it? I'll save it. Vamp. Oh, here he comes. Okay, so here he comes. We gotta back up, back up, back up, back up. Vampire stands back in the shadow, shielding himself from the light. Now we have to reflect light with mirror. Yes. You know, it, that's what we tend to do when you go to a new town on vacation. Don't don't you tend to go to the local crypt and kill the vampire? that you know is there. So th this walkthrough is efficient, but I'm not going to say it, it makes story sense whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, the vampire was pretty not cautious, but I don't even know if he's done anything wrong, the vampire, right? Maybe we just woke him up and he was annoyed and he was going to chase us away. Oh, looks like he saw the light. Thanks, Brian. Eighties. Wonderful. Did I did I already save it? I I can't remember. Vamp dead. I'm gonna leave it up to chat to um. To tell me if to remind me about save game files. He maybe have needed a hug. Maybe, I don't know. It just feels weird that we did that just like that. But. Head upstairs. Okay, wait. Return east four times. Then open the door and go east. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Open door. Open door. Okay. Go east. Okay. We went through a secret door in the, the, the crypt. I saved before the vampire. Yeah, don't come to this area without a mirror. Um, we should have talked to the vampire or something. Okay, next we head upstairs. Okay. Save. Uh, so this is interesting. So I'm going to show what this what happens if you don't do what you're supposed to do. I 
Alice Greenwood starts to mutter strange sounding words and then your whole body explodes into flame. Oh yeah, there was no body mass miss for the vampire. <laughs> Brian 80s. Oh no, I remember this. Yeah, he could have had gear. Oh, yeah. It's pretty graphic. We didn't really have any chance. Yeah, I'll play again. Yeah, I would like to receive a stored nightmare. And I called it, uh. So what you're supposed to do in this is you're supposed to drop your shoes. So you can sneak up on her. Go north. There's another lamp here. She stirred a little, but she didn't kill us. Look under bed. You slide a set of step letters from under the bed. Do we have it? Oh, good, we took it. That's a step letter, right? A step ladder. Despite their age, the step ladders, despite their age, they are still very strong. Okay, that's weird. Is that more than one ladder then? Okay, what do we do next? Examine Alice. Okay. Examine Alice. She is the village school teacher and, as a rumor has it, a black witch. She has a key around her neck. Take key. Okay. Okay. Great. Return south. Drop ladder. Great. Take... Okay. Take shoes. Wear shoes. Save. Uh. <laughs> Deluxe texture over there doing Bella Lugosi impressions. Yeah, um, yeah, they are in the inventory, the deluxe ducks. Here they are. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of nice to have them. Next we're going to do is, are you ready? Because we're going to... We're going to, we're going to kill another evil being. It's still day one. We're just, we're really good about getting stuff done. Climb ladder. Uh, open door. Okay. Go up. Oh, wow, okay. Alice glares angrily upward through the trap door. Isn't this interesting? Okay, so this is weird because I look at the screen and I'm not seeing a heck of a lot. But apparently there's a jug here and I don't know how you're supposed to find that out. Look. Okay, you can see a jug. Okay, take jug. Okay. But my, my problem with this, and I did play through the first the first day myself, and the problem I had with this is it says take the jug, then fill it with water. There's no water in the sea. I don't see water. And I, they didn't say there was water. Right? Look. Fill jug with water. Okay. I'm sure. Why not? Okay, then fill it with water. Pour water to kill Alice. Pour water on Alice? Screaming hideously, she shrinks away to nothingness as the water strikes her. We've killed a witch. Wait, how do you feel about that? Pretty good? <laughs> no. I don't know. Okay. Unlock chains. I don't know how I'm going to unlock chains because I don't see any... I don't. I don't have a key for that. The key fits the chain. Oh, the key that Alice had. Okay. The key fits the chains and you free the girl. She starts sobbing, but through the tears, she tells you that she was to be a human sacrifice and that her friend will be sacrificed soon. It's pretty intense. Save. Um. Great. We're, yes. This is super efficient. That was the funniest effect. Yeah, the witches are, yeah, the witches, the witches are Oz witches. It's pretty intense. It'd probably be more intense with music, but um, we do what we can. Return down twice and go south. Down. Down. South. Okay. Great. Pick up the gloves. Take gloves. Okay. Oops. Take him. Head south twice and then east. South, one, two, east. Okay, you, we can give the number plate to the cop. Policeman. I'll check up on this and report back to you if I find anything out he says taking the number plates. Great. Oh, show the number plate? Oh no, was I not supposed to give it to him? 
Wait a second. I might have screwed myself over. Um. Down, down. Uh. South. Take gloves. Okay, save. Er. East. East? Oh. Hotel twice. East. Oh, wait, he's there. Okay. Show number plate to cop? Oh, he takes it anyway. Never mind. Can we still sacrifice her and get whatever power the witch had? Yeah, if the water kills Alice, I don't know how she showers. She probably, it's like, um, probably she does like a sand bath. Like um, otters do. And um, birds will also do a sand bath. Where they kind of, it's a way to get rid of ticks. Is they kind of flap their wings and stuff. And they, it, it really is like a way to do cleansing. So I imagine she does something like that. She could do a mud bath like a hippo, I suppose. Or she could groom herself like a cat. There's a lot of options. Slap Bobby with gloves and ask for a duel. Okay, next we're going to... Gee, oh, we're going to save Judy soon. Isn't that nice? Okay. Oh, no, we did save Judy. Walk east twice. And then south. Uh-oh. Okay, wait. It's a, it's a very good chance that I'm going to just get lost. Okay, we can go back to... Hold on. It's still hard! Okay, so from the gloves... From the glove screen, we head south twice. One, two, then east. Show your number plate to the cop, walk east twice, and then south. Okay, there we go. Great. Unlock and open the south door and go south to enter Ivy College. Okay, so this is something where Susan can just show up because this is her house and not our house. So we're going to say Susan. Unlock door south. Oh, open door south. Pause. Uh, so this key is the one we got from the, 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 key, the, the coat in the pub. Kurt Rocket Runner, good evening. Good to see you. Yeah, we are... Um, we are playing Personal Nightmare. I'm just going through the walkthrough because I'm not going to figure this out myself. I'm not patient enough to do that. Oh, well, wow. Cosmic 43 birds do an ants bath. So they'll, they'll bathe in ants. So maybe Alice bathed in ants. We're in Ivy Cottage. Open the south door. Open south door. Go south. Okay. I love the kitchen. I love a kitchen. Look at all these cupboards, you guys. Okay. Open cupboard. Open cupboard. Examine cupboard. Take, what is this? Take a screwdriver. Go west. This is a dark room, and it's funny to me because this looks exactly, well not exactly, it looks a lot like the dark room that's in Maniac Mansion. But this, this is a misleading thing because you can't actually develop the role of film yourself. Roke, good to see you. Have a great night and good luck with your own pixels and stuff. Yes, catch you later. Yeah, so here's a dark room. We can actually, I'll actually look at it. Photographer's darkroom converted from the old kitchen pantry with a sink in one corner. You can see the chemicals. You can't develop your own film, so don't try. Because I tried. There's a, there's a, a jug of chemicals here, but it's old, and it it's just a way to screw you over again. Look under table. This doesn't even look like you could look under the table. So if you if you go to this room and you check out what inventory items you have that you can take, there's uh, chemicals, but that's it. We're supposed to look under this table. That doesn't even have to look like a table. Okay, so we got the magazine. There's a magazine. Finding a voucher in the magazine, you pull it out thinking it might be useful. The voucher is entitles you to have one film developed free of charge. So that's what the darkroom is for, for the voucher. I better get out of... We don't know if time passes in the inventory menu, so let's get out of that. 
I know, Mousimus. <laughs> I know. Find the voucher. Drop the magazine. Drop magazine. Okay. Go east, south, and west. East. South. West. Into the shed. Look, this is a, this is a nice art. I guess I didn't even mention it, but it kind of goes without saying that this is EGA. And I do love the the randomness of the dithering in this game. It kind of feels chaotic, which I think really works with a horror game. But we can look at this beautiful sense of light that's coming in through this, this window to the top right, where the you can tell the ray of light is coming and the way the shadow is being cast onto these shelves, I think is really cool. I'm a big fan. The artist is Teoman Ermac, and he worked on a bunch of other different games as well. Um, but this one is because it's EGA is probably my favorite. But we need a bunch of stuff from this from the shed. Okay. Okay, I gotta move rearrange my inventory, so move keys and other small items into your suit. Oh yeah, this that's kind of nice to know. Is your suit has pockets. Although you can't tell from here. So let's take um Yale key, shiny key. Let's move the key for the pub into the suit. Or, oh, yeah, we go. So there you go. It doesn't really indicate that you can do that, which is kind of a bummer. Okay. Maybe the screwdriver? Okay. Okay, so let's see what we need to do next. Oh, cool, Froy, what's the, your, are you, um, is that your Adventure XGM entry? Or just in general, the Adventure XGM? Yes, yes, so Adventure X is an awesome event that they, they haven't had in person for the past few years because of COVID, past couple of years, but I did go in 2019 and it was amazing, in London. What do we need? Okay. Take secateurs, which I think is a very English word. Take sledgehammer. Don't worry, they, these things are all here. Uh, take rag. And I got, yeah, you can see this stuff disappearing. Open box. Take mall, which seems also pretty English. Oh, look in box. It's a large mallet with an axe like handle, rubber head. Normally used for hammering stakes into the ground. Ooh, normally used for, handle, for hammering stakes into the ground. You don't say. Next. What else do we need? Remove the handle from the mall and drop the mall. Well, that doesn't sound like... You'd think that that would be just handy. Right? Remove handle. But you just need the handle. But I trust, I trust the process. Drop mall? Okay, good. Save. Shed. Oh, it's in Blaholtz, it's called Secator in Swedish. Secator. Sec so what are those, like clippers or something? Cl hedge clippers? Or smaller than hedge clippers? It just said, Jeff, you like the duality of the point and click and text parsing? I do too. I actually, that's another reason why I really like this game, in spite of itself, in spite of the game. Because I do like being able to ask characters about things, because sometimes they have interesting responses, but I also like, it's, it is a really interesting blend of a bunch of different things. Oh, curved cutters, okay. Secateur, I never knew that word. Okay. Look behind pots to take, see this another, another, come on you guys. Um, so pots. Look. Pots. Look behind pots. I would never think to look behind pots. Take oil stone. Head east and north three times. Okay. East. One, two, three. Okay, close lock door. Close door. Lock door. Save. Done. Ivy. Ivy. 
yeah, this game is this game is tough love. And I, I don't want to say that it's impossible to play this game or win this game without a walkthrough. Because I'm sure it's happened. I mean, Stranger Things have happened, but I think it's very difficult is all I guess all I can say. Okay. Ooh, it's 1040. Okay. And it's a pretty long game. Let's 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 be honest. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do maybe five more minutes, and then we're gonna find someone to raid. Okay. Head. Okay. Oh, I can drop shiny key. Drop shiny key. Okay. Go north twice. West west thirteen times. Ugh. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Open gates. Oh, we're about to kill our next thing, you guys. Um, go north. Examine fence. Take stake. Oh, Gardener would be upset if we did that. Wait here until the village clock strikes. What time is it, by the way? I can't tell what time it is. Hold on, save, wait. And then it's okay. So we have to wait till the gardener's gone. Okay, there he's gone. Perfect. Strike. We were actually well on schedule. That's nice. Take steak. Okay. So we have a steak and a handle that is kind of like a steak. Okay. Go north. Okay, so this is this is the dangerous bit. Save. Danger. Kill dog with steak. I'm just going to load that up. From the manor comes the eerie howling of a dog. It's a pretty violent game. All right, here it comes. I don't know how close it is. Whoa, okay. Okay. As the hound leaps, you duck aside and ram the stake deep into its belly. Although the stake is blunt, the hound's momentum carries it to a painful death. You turn, but there's nothing there. The hound has returned to its master. Done, dog. Uh, Just a Jeffy asks, is it possible to get through the game entirely with point to click or is the text input necessary at some points? Well, let's see. Um, I'm, I feel like you have to do text input at some points because I just did kill dog with steak and I don't know how you would do that with the point and click interface because I'm looking at the, the options and none of them seem like maybe look in dog with steak that, that doesn't really seem to be realistically an option for some of these actions <laughs> dogs love steak okay So let's save this and call it stream.